Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is October 14th. I had to think what the 10th month was of 2017. It's a Saturday and a beautiful day here in Fort Worth. Uh, computer, what's the weather today? Right now in Fort Worth, it's 89 degrees with clear skies and sun. Today's forecast has mostly sunny weather with a high of 93 degrees and a low of 57 degrees. Ah, let's see. Uh, what did I want to cover? I'm going to try to make it uh, quick today. I got a new printer. You can see it setting behind me. Um, I am going to tell you what I think about it. So I guess it's a review of the printer. I'm not... Uh, I'm not really good at reviewing printers and I'm I don't know that much about printers I've owned a few printers in my life uh, I guess the first printer was I had a <clears throat> back in the 70s before I had my first I got my first computer in 1970 I think 1978 I believe that's when it was. It's when the Radio Shack Model 1 computer came out. Sorry, I'm not sure. I have to change the keyword uh, to something else because I say that word a lot <clears throat> and the echo picks it up. Well, I didn't know that until I just, I just got this second version 2 of the Echo. Anyway, well, let's see, I had uh, some of those game machines, I'm not sure when they came out. Anyway, the first, I really think the first computer I had was the TI-58 calculator here, and it was programmable, and it seemed pretty neat, it seemed pretty neat at the time, I wrote some little programs, nothing, nothing fancy, <clears throat> but I, um, Where's the printer? Here is the printer that I had. If I believe, if I remember correctly, I think I paid three hundred and fifty dollars for the printer, which printed on thermal paper. Uh, wonder if I could. Uh, let's try that. Computer. How much did the first uh, TI fifty eight calculator cost? Sorry, I don't know that one. I, I think it was about $350. I, I think the uh, printer was about the same price. Oh, my God. So, anyway, um, I made that I'm trying to make a point that I've had printers for a long time. A lot of different ones. Uh, but I really don't know that much about printers. I've had a few. What I know about printers is that... Uh, the ones that use ink, you might as well buy a new printer. You know, when the, when you get low on ink, you just might as well buy a new printer. They the ink you know, use that use that much ink, and uh, the ink is th that expensive that I do know that there's what uh, is it Epson that now you buy I guess a big tank of, of ink. I guess that's the way it works, and the thing print and then, you know prints forever. But you're paying for. Uh, when I worked at CompUSA in Miami, uh, I used a. I was the only one there, pricing, putting the labels on the, not on the individual boxes, but on the racks and shelves and places, which was full time keeping me going. Full time just doing that in that big store. Uh. uh and I used a, a printer that used a toner, and that printed forever and ever. So that's actually what we have in the other. No, that just broke, and I don't know why it broke. But we, I had it for a long. <clears throat> I got the the identical printer to. Uh, it was a. I can't remember. Uh, oh man, mine is going. <clears throat> 
but it printed forever right around here but it, of course it didn't print in color we didn't need it in color I've never really needed things in color so the printer that I had in here one another a three and a one uh, printer went into the other room and uh, I purchased this one at first I was going to get another one that used toner <clears throat> but then I I decided I think I'll just get this I know it's going to be a ink is going to be a costly thing I tell you it doesn't seem like I hardly print when I use a printer that uses ink jet ink or uh, whatever they call it it I seems like I print very little but seems like I'm paying for ink always seems like I'm installing cartridges you know with new ink into the printer but I decided to go that route again and so I just got a $60 printer here an HP and it's the first uh, first one I bought in a while been a while and it's a nice little printer um, HP Jet 4650 and of course it's you know print, fax, scan, copy and whatever the web means um, I printed a few pages on it uh, you, you've seen they've come out I've scanned uh, a couple items with it and it seems to me like I had this before but I never used it on one of the printers that I had I I don't usually sign up with the companies for anything you know maybe I'll register you know for the guarantee or something but and I think I had this before but with this company I got a email address for the printer so that if somebody sends an a something they can send it actually send it to my printer now right now I'm, I'm not getting out the the address but uh, could come in handy and then if there's some, any kind of a problem with somebody getting the address and sending something to my printer and whatever that I don't want going to my printer um, I have the ability to go in and make it where they can't do it and just make it where people that have an email address can do it now no charge for that from uh, HP uh, with this printer and if you read the comments it gets, gets really good reviews but it's got four stars if you out of uh, 2288 reviews it's got four stars well I guess that's actually different I think um, No, I think no that would be the people yeah they'd be the reviewers so I think that's pretty good <clears throat> but the complaint that they have people have is this ink deal you know when you go here to to look at it they have <clears throat> okay here's the printer which comes with ink it comes with two cartridges black and the colored now here you have printer with an instant so I guess they're automatically signing you up for their instant thing which when your printer gets low of ink they automatically charge you and send you the cartridges that you need although I think there's more to it than, but I didn't really pay attention there's uh, I don't know what all you know bundled all these different things it looks like well I have the card here of course, I don't want that. I don't want anybody. Also, you know, Echo has the little things you push a button, put it someplace, you know, and if you need something, you just press the button. I don't want I want to be, I want to order. Uh, I can't think of anything that I would want sent to me autumn. I don't want stuff coming out of my bank account or to my out of my credit card without me authorizing it. But they've... Uh, Here's how it works. I didn't really even I didn't really even read it, but I guess you can pay them two ninety nine a month, which isn't much. 
but that's for 50 pages per month and uh, standard cartridges I don't know. and then they have a moderate printing 499 a month then they have 999 a month for heavy duty I'm not into I'll just pay for the uh, I would just pay for the ink and bitch when I have to uh, put a cartridge in there all the time. Anyway, there's uh, it came packed packed well, just in the box, uh, you know that wasn't inside another box. It uh, comes with a book which I haven't read. Now you do have instructions. Oh, here's a bit. The test thing for some reason they have you print that out then you have it they scan it then you scan it and that it that sets the says well, you must scan this for best print quality and alignment or something as very detailed you know book about plug the power cord in Step two, you know, so forth and so on. And then there's instructions here for which hooking it up. Now this, some of these models now do not come with USB. I imagine all the more expensive ones do. Do not come with a USB uh, connection. Uh, this one does, and uh, but I was really wanting this one because, uh, and there's a lot of others now that are that way. Well, let's see. The printer that we have in the other room, which is a nice one, can't remember the name of it, but and it had a big has a big LED display for doing things. I could never, and I got my grandson who's really sharp. I could never hook it to the uh, Wi-Fi. You know, had to be plugged into USB. I couldn't get it to, and. Uh, this one was very easy to do, and that's what everybody says that it's very easy, and that's what I wanted. So, and I also put the uh, the application too. They have a Windows app in the in the uh, App Store. Let's see where is it. This is it. This is from the Windows App Store, and it's also in the uh, Android. Uh, and I put the application on my cell phone. I haven't used it yet, but it appears that it will work. And where do I have that application? Where did I put the application? Uh, oh, I can need to put it where I can. I need to put it where I can find it, aren't I? Okay, hit the apps. Uh, HP, I wonder if it's under HPG. Here it is. HP Smart. So it looks like the same <coughs> same application. Also, I've been changing subjects. But I'll come back to this printer. I've been trying to go through. I'm trying to get this room reorganized. I don't have enough room in this apartment. I did. It's a two-bedroom apartment, two-bathroom. I did have enough room, but my ex-wife moved in. My grown son moved in. So all my stuff is... <coughs> In this one room so I'm going through and trying to uh, organize things better and I uh, while back my daughter and her husband came to visit and I <clears throat> sent some stuff back with them some photos and uh, gave my son-in-law a tactical flashlight which he really likes 
and I also gave him that I had hooked up here with pretty neat uh, solar cell for the window and a couple of look like regular light bulbs a control box or whatever and I gave that and he loves that and of course he he didn't really need the instructions for it but I'm going through stuff here to throw away and I found the uh, instruction sheet for one you know two pages actually one page both sides and so I thought well and I just sent him a box or sent them a box of stuff tips morning priority flat rate box and it's got some stuff in it for him that uh, one thing he needed or wanted a better charger for charging up cell phone or charging up uh, flashlights and things like that so and so I sent that off this morning then I'm going through stuff and I find the two page instruction sheet for that thing that I gave him before and I thought damn I could have put that in the box and then I thought wait a minute so I just scanned it and uh, made it into the sheet into uh, two JPG files and then I just did an email and sent it so, so let me, uh, anyway here's the print scan support information so I've used the print and the scan. By the way, this printer um, it prints very fast. The other printer, and I think the other one too, the one in there, and then the one that broke, both took a little bit. Uh, you know, that you'd do the print, and it, you hear you would nothing would happen for a little bit, and then you'd hear you know the gears turning and uh, whatever, and then you'd finally. This prints really fast, scans really fast. Um, so here it is. The display people, some people complain that the display is too. Now it's touch. The screen there is touch, and you can scroll. And uh, I have no problem. You know, no problem with that. One thing I might mention to you, I guess I'll make this into a... Uh, now, I didn't put in the... Uh, DVD. I just went through the book and it gave, you know, the URL and went there. And so, uh, if I had put in the DVD, I'm sure that it would have been have to update and just the other way. So, I didn't even do the... Uh, but I might mention to you, of course, you're probably not as stupid as I am, but when I opened this, set this thing up, hooked it up, and then I had to put, you know, they sent these two cartridges of ink. When I opened it up to put them in, it was very, you know, they have the little thing, the same color, like, you know, one's black and one's purple, or whatever that is. But for the, I think I put the black one in first. I can't remember. Anyway, when I flipped up the little latch to put it in, I saw what I thought was a strip of white paper in there. And I reached back with my finger and I thought, was that something put in for shipping? You know, like they, when I got it, there was tape on it. There was a, when I raised up the thing, there was a piece of cardboard in, inside to protect everything so nothing moves around. And I thought, hmm, did they put paper back there? To, and I was thinking, should I put, and then I thought, nah. And then I, when I raised up the other side to put the other one in, I could see that there were the metal contacts and things for the, for, you know, sensors. And if I had ripped that out, so don't go ripping out anything behind those cartridges. I'm sure you wouldn't. I'm the only one that would probably be dumb enough to do that. I didn't do it, but. Uh, HP inkjet photo scan fax wireless printing air print two sided duplex printing touch screen mobile printing so you can uh, print from your cell phone your tablet um,
I didn't think of that. Two-sided printing. I printed shoot two sheets of paper. I should have just turned the sheet over. By the way, in order to save uh, ink, uh, I didn't go into that setting, but you can tell the just to print. Don't print in color. Just, and I think you can even turn down the amount of black ink that you want to use. So. And it looks like, oh, also I like the, on the bed, scanner bed here, the, in the other room, the printer in the other room, the screen seems to be bigger, maybe it, maybe it prints, this is 8.5 by 11, I think, yeah, I think that's maybe the other one in the other room, because <laughs> I very seldom scan, but I put something on there and it would, right here you can just, it ain't half by eleven. Just fits in there with a little bit of room left over, and I don't know how many things I would scan in the other room with, and uh, so I like that scanning on this. And I have never, on a printer, I've never uh, printed out to. You know, I printed out to on photo paper on other printers. I, I printed out to. Uh, I've never printed out to a number ten envelope. I have a feeling this would be easy to do. I haven't tried it yet, but I. So I've. I've typed up things in the past. That uh, looked very professional. Maybe I pulled a. Template or something from. Uh, Microsoft Office and. I uh, look at the thing I printed out and go, man, that really looks good, you know? And then then I go make the envelope. Of course, I very seldom send much anything through the mail anymore. Not, but anyway, then I get a number 10 envelope, and then there's my... I've actually forgotten. I'm not sure I learned where well, script very well. And so I print everything. And so then you have this illegible uh, address, you know, you get this envelope, oh, that somebody, is this a terrorist sending, uh, what do they send through the mail? And uh, so, it'd be nice to print out a nice envelope. So next time, I very seldom send anything, I, you know, next time I do it, it'll be probably next year. So, uh, print, copy, scan, fax, wireless. This little wireless thing there is flashing all the time. We're not solid now. So maybe the flashing meant that it was acquiring the... And I did unplug it. Oh, I have... I talked to you before about and showed you, I think, a picture of it. I bought a really inexpensive table, really inexpensive when I got it because I need to be able to stack stuff up. And I didn't impend, intend to put anything really heavy on it, but it, on one side of it you can do, uh, well, wait a minute. Amazon. Waters. Here it is. Only thirty-four dollars for this. I think that in it included. Uh, here it is. It it doesn't look bad here, and it doesn't look bad here. But uh, anyway, I think you can put ten pounds on here, and twenty pounds on here, or is it vice versa? And there was not a problem with the weight, but. Uh, when this thing printed over there, the table was like it was like an earthquake going back and forth, and I thought that table isn't going to. But sitting on a regular table, you, I don't even there was no movement, you know, when I printed or whatever. It, but over on that thing, I thought, oh my God, that's not going to, uh, that's not going to work. So, 
enough of that. Anyway, um, print from a smartphone or a tablet. Oh, there okay, this. So, I think I looked at the 3830. Anyway, I ended up getting the 4650. Actually, I looked at whatever the one, the other one I looked at was, I think it was, might have been an older version of this one. Whatever it was, on Amazon, they were the same price. So naturally, I got the one that was, you know, I'm, I'm not actually sure. The other one was like, I think, I think the other one was like 4630 number, and this is 4650, and I just figured, well, 50 must be. <laughs> I did look at the uh, specs. Here are the specs. If you want to, you can stop, pause the screen. And uh, but let's go on down. I think that's about it. So anyway, I'm very happy with the printer. The ink. Here they have uh, black and tricolor. So I guess you get two cartridges. $32. That's almost the price of the, almost the price of the printer. That's what I mean. And uh, now that's your two cartridges, two of the. No, that would be for you get a, I guess a black. And a. I'm not sure. I'd have to click on it. And then uh, black. Cartridge, thirty one. You know, I think there must be. I think these cartridges must, uh, I'm going to look for generic. I'm, I'm thinking that they must have same size cartridge to go in the thing, but they must, must have one, you know, one that holds less ink. And same size cartridge that holds more, something like that. That is too much money for ink cartridges. But I'm sure they're right in line with. Uh, okay, what's this? No, this is their deal. Their enrollment thing over here. I saw four ninety nine. Oh God, I'd hate to. See, you know, maybe I should just sign up. I have no idea how many pages I print. I don't think I print hardly any, but. Maybe I should just sign up for their program. I probably print less than don't I? Wait a minute, here are some bad. Look at these, and I think this is because of... Hmm. Well, altogether they've got four stars. And these are good reviews over here on the other on the side over here. I'm happy with the printer. I haven't bought ink yet, but I'm happy with the printer. On, um, I'll probably review it. I'll probably maybe I'll use this video on the Amazon review that I do. And on Amazon, I'll give it five stars. Um, but I am going to look for some other type of. I'm not going to buy. The HP ink. I'm gonna look for a. I think I put that on my wish list. Do you know that? My Amazon wish list. Let's see. Whoops. Uh, wish list. Okay. So both of these are uh, that I have on here are from Amazon, uh, and they're not, you know, not HP. So here is um, one black and one tricolor, and it's twenty-five eighty-eight. Then this other is the same thing from another company. 
one black and one tri color and it is twenty dollars so I guess the next time I place an order for anything at uh, Amazon I'll just go ahead and order twenty dollars worth of ink so I have it on hand I've got this chair down here listed when this I have spent so much not a lot I don't buy I can't afford to buy expensive chairs or but uh, of course I am two hundred and forty pounds but these chairs do not last very long and so I'm just gonna buy when this chair goes yeah Adam, I'm just going to buy one of these other chairs, see how they work. So back to oh, I forgot. I was intended to be this a general blog, and I was going to talk about this subject, but now I've decided. No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to use this video, so I can go ahead and talk about this. Uh, I can get this out of the way really quick. Uh, my so I'm on Social Security, and it's uh, been a while since we've had a, I think the last couple years, I think one year we got zero Social Security increase, and I think one year we got 1%. It's been a while, so this time it's up to 2%, and I'm happy now with 2% after it, you, it was we got I think I know we're falling behind because every time every time I get a cost of living increase and even if I don't get the cost of living uh, the apartment people here increase the you know I, I sign a lease for a year they do an increase every time um, and other things go up because they figure that cost of living, they have a certain way that they that they uh, come up with the numbers, and I think the government uh, tries to be fair. It's called COLA, cost of living, whatever that they do, and other pension plans and all kinds of things use that number to figure out, you know, has a cost of living gone up? I used to work as a welder. I built, well, I worked at welder for quite a few years for different companies. I worked building railroad cars, building different kinds of trucks for different companies, and uh, those were all union jobs. And when I worked for KW Dark Truck Company, Kenworth, the Kenworth plant was there. Next door was the Dark Division. And we made the gigantic trucks that are used in mining. You know, trucks that, uh, as some trucks as big as a house. Uh, trucks that were so big we had to build them and then uh, disassemble them so they could be shipped. Uh, and we even had, I didn't have enough seniority to do it, but we had our employees would go over to when a mine in South Africa would order our trucks. Uh, our employees would go and take the parts down into the underground there, and then our employees went down and reassembled the uh, trucks. Of course, they've been, you know, they weren't, they didn't start from zero, you know. Uh, but anyway, when I worked for the KDB Dart Truck Company, it, it was good pay, uh, good working conditions. Um, we had a union, of course, and a union contract, United Auto Workers. And the cost of living, uh, we had a cost of living thing that if a, if the cost of living went up, we got also an increase. We got a nice little, uh, you know, wage, an hourly wage increase. And we got, uh, so I was there for quite a few years, and then a, a union contract came up. And the cost of living hadn't been, we hadn't been getting any cost of living. Uh, 
increases. So we, I forget what we gave up. We gave up, uh, we still got a, you know, an increase in our, you know, hourly wage. Maybe it was reduced a little bit. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't think so. But we, we, I'm not sure if we did away with the cost of living or if we, if it was cut back. I can't remember exactly what we did. But we gave up something else, some other things. And, oh, actually, yeah, we gave up some other things. I can't remember what they were in order to get a little more hourly pay. You know, the normal, the, let's say, I don't even remember what the numbers were. Let's say that uh, every year we got a 25 cent. I don't know how much it was. But let's say 25 cents uh, pay increase. Um, and then, you, so what we, I shouldn't even mention a number because you're going to think that's accurate. It's not. What we did is we took less money hourly. No, we got more money hourly and did away with the cost of living. So let's say we got a 25, let's say we were getting just a number, 25 cent an hour pay increase. So we said, uh, no, uh, we want a 50 cent pay increase. And the company said, okay, well, uh, will you guys do away with the cost of living? Yeah, yeah. We <laughs> These companies are, you know, of course, unions have, uh, you know, people working for them too. But anyway, well, we did away with that. And that's when the cost of living in the United States just sky started skyrocketing. I'm not sure if that was under Carter or when it was, but man, we got clobbered. We got clobbered. Back when I was married and working, and it wasn't because I was the, like the price of food or whatever, I had steaks, you know, quite often, uh, pork chops with breakfast maybe every morning, if not pork chops. Uh, food was inexpensive, and other things were inexpensive, and uh, then when the cost, you know, then it got where I was uh, not having pork chops for breakfast. Uh, maybe I'd have a sausage pan, you know, and not having steak for dinner would be hamburger and and uh, so anyway this uh, I don't even remember how much my they say but whenever they have these articles and I haven't actually read this okay this is the average monthly social security payment is one thousand two hundred and fifty eight dollars or fifty fifteen thousand I started to say fifty 15000 a year. Um, okay, they usually tell them, let's see, I think it's going to be 25 or dollars or more. Or more of, okay, yeah, here it is. It's the largest increase since 2012, but comes to only $25 a month for the average beneficiary. I'm the average beneficiary. So I'll be getting about $25 extra a month. So really, I'm falling behind. And especially when we haven't been getting any or getting 1%. So, okay, I covered that. I talked about cameras, and you know, I'm always looking for cameras. Sort of like when I wasn't married. I was always looking for the perfect woman. And I actually dated some women that were really nice. I mean, and uh, I kept looking for something else. And then I end up alone. Well, I mean, my ex-wife is in the other room, but... Uh, so it's the same thing with the cameras. I've got two nice cameras. 
the LX7. Now there's an LX10 out, which is an improvement, a nice improvement, but. And then uh, I have the uh, FZ200, and I actually did buy an FZ300, which broke, and I returned it. And I didn't. Uh, and the, this FZ200 is a terrific camera, also. But I'm wanting, you know. Here's the LX100. Uh, you can see it's. Six hundred and forty-seven dollars. I can't see if I hadn't. If I could turn around and sell this uh, for maybe two hundred and fifty or something, if I could, and it's in perfect condition, you know. Of course, I don't think I, I don't have the box and whatever. But if I could sell that for two fifty, then I would probably turn around and buy an LX because that's a pocket size camera, or whatever. Um, the FZ300 this is the FZ200 the FZ300 uh, is waterproof and does 4K I do like this camera it has a great the FZ200 has a great digital zoom this is really neat for uh, for out in the sunlight and you can't really see your screen you know looking through here it is amazing um, anyway I don't think I'll be getting the LX because I mean this camera is really nice it doesn't do four doesn't do 4k you know I really don't need for 4k but what I would do I do want a 4k camera what I would do with 4k is I would shoot 4k video and then run it through the uh, software program then uh, output it at 1080p so I'd upload it to YouTube at uh, 1080p the file size would be smaller but the picture quality even though you're watching it in 1080, in 1080 the picture quality would be so much better because it's 4x that was reduced down but uh, so I don't think I'll be getting it, but I'm still, still on my list, but I don't think I'll be getting it. Uh, the G7 I really like. It's a really nice uh, computer. I said the word again. Yeah. Have to change that. Now I'm not, I can't afford a GH4. I have it on the list. I'd love to have it. Uh, both of my cameras that I have now are, are not, you can't put other lenses on them. And in a way, I don't want, because I know myself, you know, I'd buy a nice, well, like the G, G7. Uh, you can change the lenses. And it's, I think this G7 is $600 or, or something. Uh, and it, in this case, it's it's a 14 by 14 to 42 lens, but you could buy it without a lens and then purchase a lens, or you could purchase it with this lens and then uh, put a different lens on it. I know what I would do. I would uh, look for the perfect lens, and that would just, you know I would have I'd spend so much money on lenses. Um, anyway, the GH, this, by the way, the price for this GH4, that $1,200, that is without a lens. Um, the FZ80 here, look at that, I talked about that yesterday in a video that I made. $400 for this camera. Now you want to, if you're thinking about getting it, uh, watch some YouTube videos. Um, because there's, the thing is it has 
a fantastic, uh, well, the image thing that gathers the image, I forget, uh, is, is large, and the lens is a great lens designed to work with that image that gets your image. Um, but it has a 20 to 1,200 zoom lens for $400. You get a hell of a camera, great lens, um, great sensor. Sensor is the word I was looking for. For $400. And it has a lot of... Uh, and it's a 4K. It has 4K video. Uh, the, the zoom lens would be... Well, the, would be really nice, but I don't think it's, if I remember correctly, it's not waterproof. Neither of my cameras are waterproof, but I, I would like to have one because I like to go out, uh, you know, when it's raining or something. So, but I don't think I'll be getting the FZ80, but I could be happy with it because I, I've watched YouTube videos and the images and things are just great with it. Here's the FZ300, so it's a upgrade from this one. And uh, it has, you know, splash and dust proof body, 4K, great lens, uh, F2.8, I think it's all the way through, a flat F2.8 all the way through the range from, from the uh, whatever the zoom, it doesn't show it here, but whatever the zoom thing is, all the way through. Usually what you have when you have a zoom camera is say, if you're lucky, you have a, uh, I think this is F1.7, I think, if I remember correct, or maybe the other is, and it stays F1.7, I believe, or maybe it's 2.8, but it stays through the entire zoom. This is something to 600 zoom which is a nice zoom, and it stays the same all the way through the aperture. And uh, usually what happens is, you know, you're shooting at the low end of the zoom, 2.8, and you go up, and it's at the top end of the zoom, it's 3.5 or 4 or something, you know, aperture on your lens. So I don't know. Anyway, I made up this wish list which isn't public I could make it public why don't I do that in case you want to look at the list if you have some recommendations except I do like Panasonic I've had great Canon cameras in the past though but I do like I'll make this list uh, public uh, let's see public where do I click to make it Share. Okay, I have to figure out how to do it. <laughs> so I guess on my create a list, yeah, whatever. Anyway, I'll make it public, and then you can look at the list and make recommendations because I'm sure there's others out there. I'm sure there's a ton of thousands, millions of people who know more about cameras than I do, and there are people who know a lot more about Panasonic than I do. Uh, I do want to stick with Panasonic, so you could help me with, uh, you could send me an email, or you could uh, post underneath the YouTube video or here or whatever with recommendations. Um, there's no point in recommending something. Let's say make the, if you do make the top a thousand, I'm not going to be buying. I think maybe 800 but anyway make the top nothing over a thousand and just you know yeah what I would like to have is of course I'd like to have a large sensor um, I'd like to have 
Zoom is not that important to me. Uh, so large sensor, water and dust proof, that is, and of course, uh, articulating screen. Um, four K video, and really, I would like to have like you can't have everything, you know. I'd like to have the really, really good. I don't think I could show that on camera here, could I? You, I don't think there's any way. Where's the camera? Let's see. Camera on. Good. Let's see where we can. Problem is when I get it in front of the then I can't see it, so I can't see what you're seeing. Yeah, it didn't work. Um anyway I'll do that. I'll make this list great cameras public. Maybe if I click create a list, this list is for you, wish list idea, but I want to change the other list. Okay, let's see, wish list, click on private, it's still private. Share this send an email. Hey, I can print out my list. Hmm. Anyway, I think that takes care of. Uh, I'll get back to. I can show you how the room is messed up big time. There's that desk that I told you about that's all messed up. I can't even get the closet doors closed because there's... Uh, I had in a drawer my tools. You see the tools on the ground? They were in a, in a... They broke the bottom of that drawer out there. And uh, I got a couple boxes here of stuff that I don't even know what's in them now. And this desk drawer, I, I got it out of a thing that I threw away a week or two ago. I kept the drawer and I think what I'm going to do is throw my tool, because it's pretty sturdy, I'm going to throw my uh, tools into that and then just put it into the closet. I've got uh, I've got arthritis really bad. It hurts to <laughs> It hurts to uh, bend over. So anytime I, I'm, anytime I have to bend over, it hurts. And I use, God forgive me, I usually, if I have to bend over to plug something into an electrical outlet, I usually break one of the Ten Commandments, profanity or taking the Lord's name in vain or something like that. Anyway, thank you very much uh, for watching this video. I don't think I've done anything in this video that is going to get YouTube to say I'm not user friendly or that I am, oh, not advertiser friendly. And anytime I do something political, I I turn the thing off. Well, I can show you that. Hang on a second. Let me go to YouTube. Let me click up here and go to my Creator Studio. and uh, go to 
video manager now I have uh, 795 videos here but here's a video that I made uh, yesterday and it has 54 views and you can see that it is monetized if you people watch the video I make a little bit of money this video here I talked about uh, political the political stuff and I turned it off so it's got 96 views but see here it's not monetized uh, this video here from October 1st has 103 views and uh, this one here for some reason I I don't remember I think Amazon decided that it was not monetized you know not and I think this one here too when it's green okay this one was uh, 207 views and Amazon decided that it uh, was not advertiser friendly I so you can see PayPal I did I by the way do you notice here I, I do want to thank you all again I, I do that from time to time if you look over here at the side on these videos like I don't get a lot of views there's 54 views five people gave thumbs up this next video you know seven people gave thumbs up nobody a thumbs down uh, here uh, nine thumbs up no down here for this video 13 thumbs up no down and if you just look at you know uh, all this you people are really nice to me I don't know if it's because I'm an old man or uh, or what now here of course you'll see a little bit this was about Donald Trump so I got seven up but I got four down and uh, this hooking up two computers to one monitor oh, God. no upper second is not a computer monitor when I when I end this video here in a little bit I'm gonna change that name I've got can't uh, I can have echo Alexa something else and then the one I'm using the reason I went with the one I'm using is I actually have trouble remembering Alexa I use this I'll be laying in bed and wake up and I sleep very few just a very short time and wake up and then I'll ask computer what time is it the time is 3 18 p.m. and I've in the past when I didn't have this when I had the other one in here which is I think we're using echo with it you, we can have them all the same you know so but I would be laying there and wondering what and I couldn't remember Alexa I think even have trouble remembering echo but that one seemed easy this one I'm using now seems to me to be you know easier to remember so anyway I uh, came over here to show you all about that okay this is the the thing you don't see this this is uh, if you do YouTube you'll see the you know YouTube videos so I've had one million 
views, a little bit over 1 million views of my videos. I have 700 videos and I've been doing this since 2005. I think now that YouTube changed their rules again and if you want to be uh, approved by Amazon where you can uh, get some money for your videos I think you have to have a thousand subscribers and that doesn't seem like maybe well what do you think does that is it, you think that's a lot I think it's a lot because look uh, I have over 700 videos and I've been doing this since 2005 this is 2014 and I just have a little bit over 2,000 subscribers Amazon pays you if you do get, you know. By the way, it's not giving me a thumbs up doesn't put any money in my pocket. Uh, subscribing doesn't put any money in my pocket. Um, the only way a YouTube video uh, provider makes money is if you watch the video and you see an advertisement that's put on there. I started recently turning advertising off. Now there is a thing, if you want to help in general, YouTube Red, I think it's $10 a month. If you pay, let me see if I can, if it, if it uh, shows, you see, channel analysis, it might show it up. They have so many statistics here, which actually help you if you know what you're doing. I, I don't pay that much of it. Um, here's some analysis. You could stop the. Uh, uh, let's see, revenue report. Okay, revenue. Yeah, that'll, that'll tell us. If you want to help subscribers, yeah, here we go. From people watching advertise, this is for uh, one month. Uh, I earned thirty-one fifty-three. Now I won't see any money from Amazon probably for a couple more months because they only pay when you have a hundred dollars worth or more. Uh, but you can see for one month uh, from advertising. Uh, I earned $26. But I earned from YouTube Red $4.86. And I think a lot of YouTube gets a lot of complaints about how they do things. But the YouTube Red, if when you pay $10, I think it's $10 then you get, you're get getting YouTube Red. You don't see any advertising. So it's your videos you watch are then advertiser f free. Now next, I think next to the, uh, if you're not in the video, but next to the video, you may, maybe a box that would have advertising in it, I think. But you don't see any in the video. And you get some other benefits. I forget what, I don't want to say because I might be wrong. But then what YouTube does is they take, and I don't know how they figure that out, but they take the money and divide it up equally. They have a procedure. It looks like to me it's, you know, it's fair. Uh, so I could turn off all advertising. Of course, then all I would get is for 30 days, I'd get $5, but uh, seemed to me to be a good uh, good way. Um, YouTube Partner Revenue is what it's called. Anyway, I'm really, okay, thank you very much for watching. Uh, go ahead and give me a thumbs up.
well, our thumbs down, doesn't matter, you know. Except it makes an old man feel good when I get a thumbs up. It makes me think you love me. Thank you very much for watching.